Hi, welcome to the Comfort Dial with Shanope Foundation, anchored by Band of Love Ministries International. Under it, we are on a special series on debt. In this clip, we want to say, the Lord God Almighty is supreme. He is the greatest. He is the mighty, 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 the all-glorious God, he that is second and equal to none. Psalm 93 says, The Lord reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength. Wherewith he had girded himself, the world also is established that it cannot be moved. The scientists had a field day growing up in a, in a geography class, geography. They came up with a lot of theories. The earth was flat, the earth was rectangular, the earth was this and that. And they made a lot of studies on it. Until finally, when they looked at the clips of one of the great, great first um, travelers of the world, in the then world, all those Mungo Park, all those people that were creating new, discovering new islands for the British and the American and the various colonies, they now discover that in their log, they say, ah, I was in France, then I moved on to Germany, moved on to this, moved on to that, moved on to this. And over time, they realized that they were coming back. They were coming back, coming back. They were in France, then they're in France, then they're in France or in London. Uh -uh. And they now finally arrived at the fact that the earth was a cycle. <laughs> but as God himself, don't talk that one. Te -te. He established the world. Genesis 1, when the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis Psalm 24, verse 1. The earth and the fullness thereof belong to our God. So we must worship him who is the greatest, who is the mightiest. Not for our challenges, not for our problems, not for our needs, no. <laughs> In fact, there was a time that I had a very, very big challenge. I was cruising very, very high. My balloon was flying, flying in unprecedented height. And then they were just carrying one small pink one to come. Pia! Wanting the air to be completely deflated and the balloon to be rubbish. <laughs> I was with a child, some children, two children and two women that held two children. I was sitting at the back with them. And all the children had balloons. <laughs> and they were playing with the balloons. One held his own very tight. But the other one that the mother knew that this balloon will soon fly away. Said to the child, please. Let me hold you. I don't, I don't care quite watching them. Let me hold your balloon for you. The child refused. And of course, before you knew it, <laughs> the balloon flew off the air and went away. <laughs> and the child was sad. And they wanted to take the balloon of the other child to give. I said, no, it belongs to the other one. Just tell him sorry. You can't take from this to give to this. Already that one, his face has changed. What am I trying to say? The devil came and punched it like the piano. There are times in your life that they will just be cruising very happy and they will just come and want to pick, pick the, your balloon a little. The air begins to deflate. You have two choices. Either let the balloon to deflate completely and then out of the window goes your joy, your peace, your tranquility, your progress, your laughter, your good health, your all. Because the minute you lose your joy, I tell you, hmm. sickness where you don't know before, where doctor no go know fit to describe the name. You know that some people, they are challenges. They are so overwhelmed with their spirit that by the time they get to the hospital, of course, some are spiritual, you admit. That's why the doctor can't see it. But some, again, is because they have so entangled themselves in the web of their distress that the doctor does not know where to start. Is it headache? Is it pain in the neck? Pain in the hand? Pain in the West. Is it different different scenarios just playing? Dr. Budoluka said, just go and go and rest first. You don't have an answer for your challenge. That will not be your portion or my portion in the name of Jesus. 
But the key is in this season of Thanksgiving, if you should let the devil deflate your balloon, if you should let the devil deflate your balloon, when the air they go like this, say for where? <laughs> That's why at party soon you see some children. Once their balloon is going, they don't catch the balloon like this. Tie them very well. If you should let the air go, if you should let your joy go, if you should let your peace go. Why? Because our God is God all by himself. Psalm 93 verse 2, his throne is established of old from everlasting to everlasting. He remained God. That's why I like that song. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty Ali in the morning a voice shall rise to thee only thou art worthy there is none beside thee perfect in power love and purity I love the one that said which was an art and is to come <laughs> I love that expression too much so praise him magnify him Psalm 93 verse 4 the Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters. Many waters are raging. Many people are making noise. The enemy may be beating their chest, beating their chest, beating their chest, beating their chest. But hold on. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise, than their noise. Mightier than your circumstance. Mightier than all that is around you. That's why I like to play Oni Felix very much. Oni Felix has a classical hymn now. Classical song that he penned. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, too difficult for God to do. So the Lord on high is mightier than the noise of men who watch us. Yeah, than the mighty waves of the sea. The sea means too many. The what the <laughs> your matter and your situation. Yeah. <laughs> he passed the garden. <laughs> but whatever happens, verse 5. His testimonies are sure. Holiness becometh thy house, O Lord, forever. God's testimony is sure. Revelation 12, 11 says, They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimonies. We must give him the praise. We must magnify him. We must exalt him. We must sell him. I'm up where I am, you are. Oh, that is a song in Yoruba, in mutual language in Nigeria. They say, We bring thanksgiving, we bring joy, we bring praises. They say, Receive our praise, receive our praise, receive our thanksgiving. Receive our praise, receive our thanksgiving. Let's give it to him. Forget your problems, forget your challenges, and worship him for whom he is. In my moments when, like the cloud is there, I just carry it and throw it away with praises, magnifying God. In fact, that's the time that I'm happier, happier, happier. They don't understand. Happier. Hey. When my mother in the Lord died, not my spiritual or physical mother, I cried and cried and cried and cried and cried and cried. Mommy Okoye cried. Somebody that saw me weeping, refusing to be consoled for long, when they came around, they said, how is she doing? And when they came, he saw me happy, smiling. I said, I just came to check on you because of the way you have been crying. I said, yes. I'll stop crying over my mommy, Helen Okoye, because she would want me to be happy. She would want me to, to, be, to smile. She would want me to rejoice. She was a very happy, happy person, laughing person, likable person, rejoicing in the Lord. In meetings, you see her praising God. But when you look, you see her praise different from the one way band they play. 
she has learned to do, just be in the world of her own, worshiping God. Learn to do the same. Give him praise. Give him all the honor. Magnify him. Lay aside your challenges and tell him. <laughs> Baba, you do well. Oh, you do well. You do well. Do well. Baba, so well. You do well. Oh, you do well. Baba, so well. Oh. Baba, you do well. You do well. Are you out there? You do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ came that he may give you joy. He may give you peace. He came to give you victory over the works of the devil. John 10, 10, for the thief cometh not but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But our God has come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. The minute you say that prayer, that's all. Your sins are forgiven. Get a Bible. B-I-B-L-E. It's not obsolete at all at all. Get a daily devotional. Sit and study through the word. Through the word. The word of God is the medicine you need for life's challenges and problems. The word of God is what you need for wisdom. In this world, we have to be wise. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> hey, those who the way, you see the wise pass you, they wait for you. Yahweh, Yahweh, they wait. The day your house inside your house and go scam you. If you do not have the Spirit of the Lord God Almighty that will give you discernment. So we are saying here that you must find your joy in Him. You must find your praise in Him. Magnify Him now, according to Psalm 93, not for what you want, what you believe Him for, what He has given you, but for whom He is, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake. A great honor bringing these messages for you. Bringing them your way. On YouTube, we have over a thousand messages, video clips on different topics under the sun to edify you, to encourage you, to strengthen you, reconciling you to your maker, educating you. So much information out there. Go to church on the air. It did attack a ban of Love Mysteries International. Whichever you type, our messages will come up. Like, share, subscribe. God bless you. On Facebook, five vibrant pages. Search the scriptures, nation building, new stars of the truth. Thank you so, so very much. Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May he cause you to know joy and peace. May he cause you to laugh. May that which the enemy has seek to steal from you, may God restore it back to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will testify. I will testify. On Jordan 93.9 FM, Church on the Air, we brought you messages just a few weeks now on the God of the 11th hour. And we are saying that God of the 11th hour will visit you. And we are saying here that it is not yet over until you win, until you testify. Keep faith with God. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. If you do not yet know him. And if you know him, say ruggedly, ruggedly, ruggedly focus. First Corinthians 15, 58. Be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Because there is a rewarder. The rewarder of men. Thank you so very much. God bless you. May God grant you his joy, his peace, and his laughter. Now and always. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. His countenance of peace and of mercy never leave us all. Thank you. God bless you.